second. Talk to me a little bit, if you can, about uh, the focus on assessment versus treatment. I think to begin with, probably because of um, the story with my friend, I realized that there was a, a massive gap in assessment mm -hmm. and in monitoring. Uh, not so much in the beginning with, with treatment. I think mm -hmm. the more we dug into the problem and the system and talking to more psychiatrists, the more we realized that actually there is a systemic problem, not just in assessing, but finding the right treatment for depression. I mean, the stats are pretty bleak. It, yeah. Like on average, it can take something like 10 years of trial and error to land on the right treatment for depression. So even if you're diagnosed, you know, it's it's a long and hard process. And so that there is really that big question, do you go to help treatment or you do you go to, to help with assessment? Um, for me, the assessment and monitoring part was super crucial. Um, I think just as a, as a starting point, so you don't have people slipping through the net. Sure, it can take a, a long time to get to the right treatment, but also if you don't just know that somebody needs treatment, then, you know, uh, I think that's kind of like step one. Also because um, a lot of the research I did was in distinguishing between um, people with and without some type of cognitive disorder or mental health issue, rather than um, helping the treatment per se. Now, there are a lot of uh, ways you can actually also embed treatment into video games, but I think that's kind of like a, a slightly different angle on it. For me, it just made sense to start with the assessment.